dear students this is a minimization problem so we have to solve this problem now first we have to check whether this is a balanced or unbalanced assignment problem there are five rows and five columns so this is a balanced assignment problem so first we have to write that so this is a balanced assignment problem now we have to do the row reduction so in the first row we see that the minimum element is 8 so now we have to subtract this 8 from the remaining numbers so 13 minus 8 is 5 8 minus 8 is 0 Sixteen minus eight is eight. Eighteen minus eight, ten, and nineteen minus eight, which is eleven. In the second row, the minimum element is nine. So now we have to subtract nine from the other elements of this row. So nine minus nine zero. Fifteen minus nine six. Twenty-four minus nine fifteen. Nine minus nine zero. and 12 minus 9 which is 3 similarly in the third row the minimum element is 4 so 12 minus 4 is 8 9 minus 4 is 5 and 4 minus 4 is 0 so this is also 0 and 0 the least element in this fourth row is 6 So six minus six is zero. Twelve minus six is six. Ten minus six is four. Eight minus six is two, and thirteen minus six is seven. And the least element of fifth row is twelve. So fifteen minus twelve is three, and seventeen minus twelve is five. Eighteen minus twelve is six. Twelve minus twelve is zero, and twenty minus twelve is eight. Now we have to do the column reduction. Now, if we see the first column, the least element is zero. Similarly, in the second column also it is zero. Third also it's zero. Fourth column is also zero. and fifth column also the least element is 0 so anyway the matrix is going to remain the same in step 2 but still we have to write the column reduction matrix so this matrix will be repeated so 5 0 8 10 11 0 6 15 0 3 8 five Zero, 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 six, four, two, seven, three, five, six, zero, eight. This step is unavoidable. We have to show the column reduction. Though the matrix is going to repeat, it's good to show the column reduction. After this, we have to move on to step three. So before going to that we have to make the selection of zeros so now when we select zeros we, we find that in the first row the only zero available is this zero so we have to select this zero and then we have to check whether is there any zeros in that corresponding column no here we don't have any zero so now we shall move on to row 2 for row 2 there are two zeros so we need not make any selection as of now so we shall move on to the third row in the third row there is more than one zero again so we need not make any selection over here and now we have to move on to the fourth row and in the fourth row we find that there is only one zero available for this row and so we have to select this zero so when we select this zero we have to strike off the zeros available in the corresponding column 
Now, if we check in that corresponding column, we find a zero over here. So that zero has to be striken off. So after striking off this zero, we find that the only zero available for this row is this zero, and hence we make the selection of this zero for that row. So when we select this zero, we have to strike off the corresponding zeros in that column. So we find two zeros over here, and so we have to strike off these two zeros. So after striking off these two zeros, we find that there are no zero available for this fifth row, and hence we have to proceed the problem further by drawing minimum number of lines to cover the zeros. Now. If we are while covering the zero, we could see that the lines. Very important thing is the lines drawn should be a minimum number. So we could first see that there are three zeros available in this column, and so we can cover the zeros of this column by drawing a line. And then there are two zeros available in this column, and so we are drawing another line to cover these two zeros. And so the left out zeros are this and this. So definitely we have to draw a line across this row in order to cover these two zeros, and a line across this row in order to cover this single zero. And it is obvious that we have to draw a minimum of four lines for this problem in order to cover the zeros. We cannot draw with three lines to cover all the zeros. Definitely, we require a minimum of four lines. So the lines are this, this, and this, and this. Now, out of the uncovered elements, the elements which does not pass the line are called uncovered elements. So out of the uncovered elements, we have to select the minimum element. So we find that the minimum element is this three. So this three has to be subtracted from the uncovered elements, and it has to be added to the point of intersections. So here, 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 and here, and the covered elements will remain the same. So now we shall proceed the problem. So now we find this that the, this is a point of intersection. So we have to add three to this number. So five plus three. So it gives us eight, and this is a covered element. And we find that. So here we have to write the number as such, and here it is eight. So we have to write the number as such, and this is a point of intersection. So here we have to add this three. So it becomes. Thirteen, and here it remains the same, and this number is a covered number, so it remains the same, and this is this number is an uncovered element, so we have to subtract this three from six, so we get three. So here also this is an uncovered element, so fifteen minus three, which is twelve. And here it is a covered element, so zero, and three minus three is zero. Now this point is a point of intersection, so we have to add this three over here. So we get eight plus three, which is eleven. This is a covered element, so five. This is also a covered element, so zero, and this is a point of intersection. So here we have to add this number, and so this becomes zero plus three, so this is three, and here this is a covered element, so zero. This is also a covered element, so zero, and then we have the element six. So six minus three is three. Because this is an uncovered element, this is also an uncovered element. So four minus three, which is one, and this is a covered element. So two, this is an uncovered element. So seven minus three, so this is four, and here 
this is a covered element so 3 and this is an uncovered element so 5 minus 3 which is 2 6 minus 3 which is 3 and this is a covered element so 0 and 8 minus 3 here so 5 now again we have to make the selection of zeros now if we see this is the only zero available for this row so we have to select it so after selecting this zero we have to check whether there is any zero in the corresponding column we don't have any zero over here so we shall move on to the second row in the second row there are three zeros so as of now let us not make any selection over here so we shall move on to the third row in the third row also there are two zeros so let's move on to the next row so in the fourth row there is only one zero available for fourth row so we have to select that zero for that row so when we make that selection we have to strike off the zeros available in that corresponding column so this zero will be stricken off so after striking off this zero again we find there are two zeros over here so let's not make any selection and here also two so let's not make any selection and for this row zero has been allocated and so let's move on to the fifth row in the fifth row there is only one zero available over here so we have to select that zero for that row so after selecting this the corresponding zero in that column should be striken off so this will be striken off now now after striking off this we find that this is the only zero available in this row so we have to make the selection over here so we have to select this zero so after selecting this the corresponding zero in that column has to be striken off so this zero gets striked off so after striking off the zero we find that the only zero available for this row is this zero so we have to select this zero now after selecting this zero we find that all the rows have a zero selected for them similarly all the columns are also having a zero selected for them now we shall write the optimal assignment job person a has been assigned with job 2 person b has been assigned with job 5 person c has been assigned with job 3 and person d has been assigned with job 1 and person E has been assigned with job 4. Now we have to take the cost of these jobs from the original given matrix. And we find that person A has been assigned job 2 and the cost of completion is 8 units. So it is 8 and for B it is 5 and so the cost of completion of the job is 12 units so 12 and for C it is 3 so 4 units D it is 1 so 6 units E it is 4 it is 12 units so now after writing the cost we have to add we have to add all the cost to get the total optimum cost or total minimum cost so total minimum cost is equal to so we have to all add all this and we get it as 42 units hope you have understood this problem thank you everyone